Hey guys, welcome to another video from Emmy Bros. Before we begin, we would like to thank you guys for reaching 51 subscribers on our channel. And it's nice to see that we have an audience engaging in our work. And um, yeah, we just wanted to take the time to tell you guys thank you. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, what we're basically going to be doing in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how the simplest method to making a realistic looking pillow in Blender 2.8. Okay, first things first, make sure your cube is selected. We hit tab to go to edit mode. Then we're going to hit SZ and we're going to be 0 0.03. Here, there we go. And next thing we're going to do, we're going to click this little panel right here so we can see what we're doing. We hit control R and we're going to make a loop cut right over here. Then we're going to make the number of cuts, we're going to make it 30. Then after that, we're gonna um, hit Control R again over here. Number of cuts, 30, same thing. Okay, and at the bottom, and at the bottom edge right here, we're gonna make a loop cut. Control R. This last one over here. Okay, we can go back to solid move, solid viewport, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna add a cloth. Then afterwards, you're gonna have to go all the way down to collisions. Then we're gonna select the quality to. Uh, Four. Clarity, sorry. Okay, then we're gonna hit self collision. Then we're gonna hit gravity. We're gonna put the gravity at zero. Okay, next time, next thing we need to do is add a wind object. So we need to go to force field right over here. Sorry, yeah, over here, force field. We're gonna add a force. Okay, now we're gonna put the strength to 150 because we need to do the simulation so it can really look like a real pillow. 150 right there. Then basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just show ya and we're gonna simulate it. Not simulate it, but we're just gonna you know run this down so we could get the pillow the pillow shape. We're gonna shoot for something like 70 between 70 and 80, maybe 75. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good. We're we gonna we're we gonna delete this force field right here. Oops. Okay, we're gonna click the force field right over here. Wait, sorry about that. We're gonna smooth shade this first, then we're gonna click this force field and we're gonna delete it. At least right there. Okay, then we're gonna add a subdivision surface modifier. To do that, we hit apply for the cloth first, then we go to subdivision surface right there. Okay, then now we're just gonna go into edit mode, and then we're gonna make like the edge, the pieces of the pillow, so it can look more realism into the pillow. So, wait, I think I need to enable that. Sorry, I enable something. Let me disable this. Okay, then we're gonna hit control B, then we're gonna make this a little bit. Not that big, up to about, about there. We're gonna hit Control R. We're gonna make a, a middle edge right there. We're gonna scale that out by clicking S. Then we're gonna, uh, then we're gonna hit Control B again. And we're gonna make a little bit of thickness right here. So it doesn't have to be that much. Just a little, up to about there. It is good. Okay, now we're gonna hit Shift, Shift Alt, left click. Then we're gonna select this edge right over here. Shift Alt left click is to select the other one by the way. Like if you want to select two of them, you have to do that. Shift Alt left click over there. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Sorry about that. For some reason this joint is just going all around now. I think I have to click the first one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna hit um Alt B. We're just gonna make this a little bit, a little bit thicker. You know, the same thing that we did with the other piece. Not, you don't need to add that much. Just a little. That is good. Okay. Um, here's the finished result. Like here's the pillow. You can play around with it. You can make like a whole, a whole modern interior and just if you don't know how to make a pillow and blend two brain, because usually the the controls are set up differently from the um, 2.79. So, yeah, anyways, right, right here I'm just playing around with it. I'm just gonna make like a 
a big pillow. You could just play around with it. You can even like make the scale differently. You could turn this to a bedroom pillow, but it's mainly mainly for a cushion. That's what it's for. So yeah. Yeah, here's the finished result. Okay guys, that basically wraps up the modeling stage of this project. If you guys want to see how to put a material or fabric on the pillow, make sure you stay tuned for that because there's going to be a second part of this tutorial. And um, yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment, because we read your comments. Let us know if you have any better methods or suggestions that we should do on future videos. And if you guys want to know how to make this, this wood, this wood in Blender 2.8 because you should use cycles for something like this. But I'll teach you how to do it. So yeah, just let us know in the comments if y'all want to type a tutorial like this. So yeah, we read the comments. So yeah, peace. Okay guys, here's a new intro I was you guys about. Sorry I didn't put in other video. It was some issues with the JPEG. And anyways, there's no sound in this intro. So I'm going to work on that. And um, I think I need to fix a little bit of stuff in here. So t tell us in the comments what do you think about this intro. If we should use it or we should stick with the old ones. And um, yeah.